Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Myers, and I'm here with my patient, Marilyn, who is three months out from a combined regenerative procedure using adipose uh, and intraosseous PRP injections for some significant knee arthritis issues. Uh, before we talk to her, we're going to take a quick look at her imaging studies. Okay, so taking a look at her x-rays, this is a standing x-ray looking at both of her knees. We're looking straight on at both of her knees, and you can see that the inside of both of her joints uh, she has complete loss of cartilage. She has bone on bone on both of her knees. Switching over to her MRI, you can see that she not only has loss of cartilage, this bright area between the bones is loss of cartilage between both bones of the knee. Uh, also on her left knee, severe loss of cartilage, but also she has these bright areas in the bone. And these bright areas are swelling. Uh, fluid signal in the bone. As arthritis progresses and things get worse over time, not only can you have loss of cartilage, but you can have these bright areas develop in the bone. And these are arthritic changes, swelling, weakening, uh, fluid within the bone, arthritic change within the bone itself. And when you have these areas of notable bright change on MRI, not only do you have to inject into the joint to try to get improvement, but you also have to inject into the bone directly to try to get a healing response in the bone. What that looks like is injecting directly into the bone. Now what we inject into the bone is not stem cells but PRP, concentrated platelets from your blood or platelet-rich plasma injected directly into the bone to try to get a healing response in the bone itself. Don't worry, you're asleep while these injections are being performed because they, yes, they are painful, so we have to put you to sleep for these injections. But this is what we mean with a combined regenerative procedure using stem cells into the joint and PRP into the bone to try to get a healing response inside the bone itself. All right, so before treatment, before we started with your combined regenerative procedure, describe your issues. What kind of issues were you having with your knees? I was feeling a lot of pain, especially on the inside of my knees, both knees, and I was actually becoming an invalid, having trouble walking, climbing stairs, just moving around the house, doing laundry, all that. It was just very painful. Prior to your treatment with stem cell, uh, what other treatments had you tried for your pain? I had not done anything except what the, uh, my primary care doctor prescribed, which was some exercise and non-prescription painkillers, until I asked him one day to please let me get my knees evaluated. And I was given a list by um, Dr. Kennedy of things, treatments I could do. And the top one was knee replacement surgery and uh, stem cell. And I had heard from friends about stem cell. And I said, okay, start the exercises and just go to the top, get it done. And I started looking into it. And that led me to you, Dr. Myers. It's been three months since your procedure. Mm -hmm. How are you doing? How, is, how are things different? Uh, my whole life is different. It's better now. Um, I can go to the grocery store by myself, park, walk in, we'll take one trip around the store. My knees will ache, but they're not debilitating at all. I can climb the steps to the four steps to my front door. I still have to take them one at a time because I am older and I am overweight, but I can get up with them and in the house without you know, faster, without pain. It just makes a world of difference because I can actually move. So here we are three months out from your procedure. Would you say you're 50, 60, 80, 90 percent better? Put a number on it. I would say it's 80 percent better. It's not totally cured. Uh, there's still some pain at times, but the pain doesn't last. It cures it, so it stops itself. I don't have to take a lot of pain medication to get the pain to go away. Having been through the procedure, do you feel like you made the right decision with your treatment? I think this was the best decision I could have made. I skipped all the other expensive treatments, all the different kinds of shots and injections you can do. I feel like I will never have to have knee replacement surgery. Um, my hips were bothering me some with my knees and they're not bothering me at all now. 
So yeah, I'm really encouraged that this may be the an this is this is the answer. Yeah, <laughs> to do this now and uh, avoid all that other stuff that all my friends have gone through. Well, thank you so much for coming in and sharing your experience. Okay, and I highly recommend anybody who wants to look into it to get it done.